Hey, we're out here at Kahumana Organic Farm in Waianae, Hawaii, uh, on the Leeward Coast in Oahu. And today we're going to be building a sprayer. So this is an agricultural sprayer, simple homemade sprayer. So the first thing we got is the main ingredient here is our SureFlow pump. It's a diaphragm pump, so when you're doing compost teas and whatnot, this is not going to destroy all your microorganisms. Uh, it's real. It's like a, just a simple diaphragm. It's going up and down, so it's going to protect all your microbial life. So this is an ideal pump, especially for doing biological sprays. So a couple connectors. This is a 14 gauge speaker wire from local hardware store. So this is just a simple, easy wire hookup. And we're going to run this thing with a switch, so we'll be able to turn this on and off. This pump actually has a built-in on-off. It's a pressure switch, so when I turn my sprayer, when I just hit the nozzle on my sprayer, and it'll automatically start spraying. All right, so right here we've got this taken apart, this panel. We're hooking the on and off switch up for our pump. So we're going to hook this up so we can turn our sprayer on from inside or uh, from right inside the cab while we're driving. So this is not a necessary step, but this is an extra step you can do to make uh, your life a little easier. So then we're just going to run these wires, hook this back in. These wires will be running down here, and we're going to hide them all underneath uh, back into here so it's all hidden and going back into the cab or back into the bed of the truck. All right, so we've got this wire, 14 gauge wire, hooked up to our positive and our negative terminal. And make sure you keep those in the right direction. This is going around through, through our firewall here. Down here, under the dash, the on off switch here. Moving around, up through, channeled up through here, and temporarily hooked up to here. So we're on. Alright, this is going to be our tank, or a similar tank we're going to use for the sprayer. So this is what's going to hold our liquid that we're going to spray. This has just a, um, a fitting on it that goes screws right on here, shut off valve, like that, and then we're going to um, connect this to our pump. So this is going to be the outlet of the liquid. So I've got this quick connect fitting here, it just goes on real simple, theoretically it goes on simple, there it goes, that tightens down right there. Alright, so we're back here at our pump and we need to get this fitting here to a fitting that fits on our hose. So I've got this little piece here. Again, this is going to get Teflon tape on the threads. We're going to install that into here. And then same thing on this side. We'll install into here. And this is going to go onto here. Like that. And this will have a, this has a quick connect fitting that just screws into here so we'll be able to put this hose on fast. And then you can see right here we put an extension cord hooked on with wire fittings. Um, this is just going to be an extension line that's going to plug right into our power source. Now we've got our quick connects all installed, both sides, so our hose fittings will go into here. Hose hooks directly right up into here. This is going to go to the bottom of our tank where our compost tea or, or whatever else we have in there natural pesticides will come in and so this is going to come here we got a filter now this is a filtration system to get on any particles so this will keep our pump in good shape and will keep it from getting damaged and whatnot this is going to capture any kind of small fine particles that comes through here so this is 120 mesh so it's a really fine fine mesh this goes back in here in here and installed on here We will have hose coming from here, on over to our pump, and then out to the spray. Okay, now we've got the pump hooked up, the water is coming out of here, through the filter, back around, down to our pump. We've got the pump plugged into our electric system over there. This is coming out into our hose fittings back out to here. Yeah. And so I can just shut it off. It shuts off and turns on automatically just by the pressure of uh, turning the sprayer on. <laughs> All 
We're organic, so we're sticking to that, but you can use it to spray fish emulsions, seaweed, um, you can spray any kind of, uh, anything that's water soluble. So you can make homemade teas, like out of stinging nettle or equisetum, or any plant-based teas you want to do, you can put in here, as long as you strain them out. You want to make sure you strain everything well before it goes through here, so you don't clog up your sprayer. Um, you can also brew compost tea and use this as a sprayer. Um, this can be used for any sort of household, agricultural, small farm, anything you want to spray. You can, this is uh, the ideal, simple, cheap setup for it.